Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Wikipedia plus Pepsi. Okay, similar shapes, let's go. Okay, so basically what I'm thinking is we need to take the colors from Pepsi and put it on the Wikipedia logo. I definitely wanna add this black ring around this one as well, and I'm gonna call it Whipsy. So I've got the Wikipedia logo, now I wanna add on a black stroke about the size of the Pepsi logo. Next, I'm gonna resize the Pepsi logo so that it's just the same size as the one we're working with, and select the red and blue and then mask them out. Then I'm gonna adjust the layer style until we get something that works. That is looking so good. Now I'm gonna go back in and select all of the letters from Pepsi, mask those out, and then go ahead and erase the P and the E. I'm gonna duplicate the I and bring that over. Finally, I need to find the perfect W font. Select just this part right here, mask it out, and here's the final result. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna really care for this one, but it turned out so fun. And that little tiny puzzle piece cut out at the end really makes it all come together. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have BMW plus Red Bull. Okay, let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we call it Bull MW, and then I'm gonna put this little symbol right here. And then instead of these bulls right here, I wanna make them be two BMWs heading toward each other. So I'm thinking I wanna use this car because it kinda has a similar shape to the bulls. So I'm really gonna have to just outline this and try to just get in as many details as I can. So it still looks like the car, but also looks like it's in the same outline style. Okay, here's what I have. Now I need to color it in with the same red, resize it and place it and duplicate it and move it to the other side. Then I'm gonna recolor in the BMW logo to be that yellow and resize and place it where the other one is. I'm gonna take the word bull, type out MW, and here is the final result. I love my little illustration I did for this. I think the two cars coming together looks so cool in this style. Let me know what you think about it all in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Monster plus McDonald's. Okay, two M's, let's do it. Okay, I think it's pretty obvious what we have to do here. I think I'm going to trace the McDonald's M, but in this kind of jaggedy style of the monster logo. And then I'm gonna add some shadows in here to kind of mimic the shadows in here. I wanted to say Mick Monster, I guess, and make sure to include that little O in there. So the first step is just gonna be to go ahead and Give the McDonald's M those squiggly, drippy, claw marky effects. Okay, here's how that's looking. Now I'm gonna color it in yellow, and then how each of these has kind of like a little shadow on the side. I'm gonna take that same yellow, deepen it a little bit, and then start adding it in to each of the sides. That is looking really cool, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the red background back to it. And where it says McDonald's, I'm gonna draw it in the kind of monster font that they have going on. Last thing I need to do is make space for the logo, and here is the final result. Honestly, this came out exactly how I pictured it in my head. I love the McDonald's logo in this, I don't know, grungy style. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Chevron plus Microsoft. Okay, let's go. Okay, so basically what I'm thinking is making these be the same color, so like blue and blue, and then duplicating that and putting it in each one of these squares and making them be the different color of each of the Microsoft logo. And then I wanna make this to say Chevrosoft. So the first step is gonna be duplicating this blue and then moving it down instead of the red. Now I'm gonna resize that and duplicate it four times. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select each one and adjust the hue and saturation so that we have a kind of decent match to each of the colors. Now that we have that, I wanna take just the first part of Chevron, type out Chevrosoft in that font, and here is the final result. Honestly, this one turned out so cute. I love whenever I get the Microsoft logo and I can just change the different colors of each logo. 
but something about this with the Chevre Soft at the top, I don't know, it really brings it all together. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this winter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have NBC plus Nike. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm thinking this is gonna be pretty simple. What I wanna do is take this exact shape and just put it in the place of each one of these little guys. Add in this little beak once I get all of those. Okay, so now I need to go ahead and make multiple different copies of the Nike logo and just place them around. Okay, this is what it's looking like. Now for each of these, I need to go ahead and add a color overlay in the exact colors from the NBC logo. Now the last thing I need to do is just duplicate this little tiny peacock beak, place it onto the other one, and here is the final result. Again with this one, I don't know where I could have gone wrong. The two just fit so perfectly together, but it did come out exactly how I envisioned it. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Netflix plus... Kit Kat, okay. Okay, basically what I'm thinking for this one is making it say Kit Flix and kind of keeping it within the similar style as this original Kit Kat logo. But I think what could be cool is if the whole background was like, hold on, these stripes from the Netflix original intro. So the first thing I wanna do is just erase anything from here over. And then since this is kind of like a font that's clearly created just for this logo, I'm gonna go ahead and try to recreate it, do a color overlay with the brighter red. All right, the last step is gonna be to bring in all of the colors from the Netflix intro. So I'm gonna resize that, cut out the oval, and here is the final result. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Apple plus Tide, okay, let's go. Okay, so basically what I'm thinking is recreating the Apple logo multiple times and coloring it in with these colors. And then I wanna use the Tide font, but call it Tapple. So the first step is gonna be coloring the Apple in different colors. So I'm gonna do a color overlay and make it be yellow. Then I duplicated it and we did the same thing with an orange one. Okay, I did that one more time. Now I'm gonna do basically the exact same thing, but to the little leaf. Now from the Tide logo, I'm gonna steal the T and I'm gonna move it up onto the Apple. And I found out the Tide font is called Compacta, so I'm gonna type out Tapple. It's not going at the right angle, so I'm gonna make it go up and then skew it this way a little bit more. And then finally, I just need to go ahead and add on that white stroke to it and here is the final result. I love when I can add color to the Apple logo. It reminds me of the very old, almost rainbow logo that they used to have. This one turned out really cool to me. Let me know what you think about it in the comments.